Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have a race in the GR86 around the Red Bull ring and this race gets pretty crazy towards the end. So be sure to stay and wait for that. But besides that, let's get right into the race. So the start of this race was already a little weird because my internet was not too good today. It was a lot of lag, lag spikes throughout the race. So I was just hoping to have a clean race. Right here at the start, I thought I was gonna have a really yeah. good entry, but actually almost got caught slacking in brake check. But the green lights go out and we are check. on our way. Not a terrible start. We started P5 and we're going to go stay P5 going to the first corner. Just really this race, I wanted to stay clean. My safety rating has been down recently. I haven't played too much iRacing and because of that, my pace and just overall cleanliness has been down to normal standards. So I really just wanted to keep a clean race, get my safety rating up here. But that's going to be hard right now. Right, what is this guy this doing? This going to start weaving and we're actually going to make a little bit of contact with his rear bumper after a while. Um, oh, nothing my too God. crazy. But we're definitely going to do something we regret here. We're going to send it up the inside, and we just get pinched from the car in front and behind, and we end up taking him out. Again, I really didn't mean it. I apologize after the race, but it's I had nowhere else to go. So, unfortunately, that's what it was, and we get the penalty. Oops. It's not too big of a deal, though. We end up in P4, um, and now we're just chasing down the top three, and that's really what this race is going to turn into, is just us four in this next top three here's <laughs> not, not too big start. of a gap probably about a second second and a half in front we're still covering off the car from behind but it ends up he's not gonna be too much of a challenge for us this track is just this track and car combination was weird this car really doesn't have enough downforce for some of these high speed corners and so the track ends up being a lot slower than what you think it's gonna be um and so it's really just patience here patience is the name of the game making sure you get up on the curbs like right here making sure you hit your apexes just waiting for the car to kind of grip up and is really feathering the throttle around because anywhere you go wide red bull ring is super punishing with track limits and slow down penalties so that's the one big thing you want to avoid here get those relatives up but for that sector we actually have a pretty good gain on the guy in front now it's about 0 0.4 0 0.6 seconds somewhere between there and at this point i'm feeling pretty confident that we can gain on him he definitely got an off track there and we're going to cut right here and get an off track of our own Again, not that big of a deal, no slow down penalty, which is nice, and we're going to continue to gain on. At this point, I was feeling pretty good too, because before this, I had done three other races, and we couldn't even make it past lap one without getting taken out. The top five qualifying definitely helped out. That mid-pack is brutal, man, like absolutely brutal. It's a slide. Ah, it's, yeah, you don't want to be down there. We get another off track right here, but again, it's not that big of a deal. At this point, our sort of safe race is kind of out the window. We've racked up six or seven uh, points at this point. So just trying to go in for a win here. I think it's definitely in the cards. Going to try to send it down the inside here and see if it sticks. Right around the edge. We make a little bit of contact here. Ends up being a zero X. I think it was just a little bit of racing incident. Not the big of a deal. We're going to have a little bit of a drag race, but he definitely has the better initial run. I'm also watching this car behind because he's trying to sneak up. And I'm thinking he's going to try to dive down the inside of me. They both kind of this commit to the inside here, or sorry, inside. the outside, no, the inside. They both commit to the inside here. But we make it through all pretty cleanly, nothing too big, just big lag spike right here, which was, again, part of the race, they just disappear right off now, my man. screen, and not that's not what you want to see when you're especially no. racing close, because when anything happens, you can just teleport in the back of a car, and there goes your race. So, luckily that didn't happen here. I was definitely faster through this portion of the track than the car in front. I know this was definitely his weak point. He had the better uphill section the entire time. For some reason, I just can't get a good exit out of there. I don't know if I should be in a different gear. I've tried second a couple times, but it's just really, really hard to get any sort of grip out of there and really get the car slowed down enough too without locking up. Um, so I've been trying first. Maybe second is the way to do it, but send it down the inside here. It's going to get really close, a little bit more lag. He's going to go wide here, which is um, interesting for later. Um, but we get the move sort of done. Not really. It's going to be more of a drag race. And then the car we've been worried about is coming up on us. And he just oh rams God. right into the back of us. Nice. Uh, we just tried to cover him off and he reacted way too late. Bro, what the, the fuck is The other car just, on? again, like forgot I was there. So we're just going to back off here. And of course, they, yep. one of them takes each other out because that was definitely going to happen. I could see it coming from a mile away just bro what yeah. in the world again this race was really interesting just again, at this point also it's safety rating out the window i just want to win and the cars in front were pretty far up ahead and i need to clear this guy pretty fast because i was definitely faster than them and my pace was I, I felt pretty good about it i was definitely faster than the leaders as well at this point so just trying to get up there was the goal right now and just being this guy was holding us up because you can just see behind us 
the whole rest of the field is starting to catch up to us, which is not what we wanted. I did not want to get caught in that fight because that could only mean either A, I'm going to DNF because I'm going to get hit, or I'm just going to get slowed down even more trying to battle our six other cars. So coming through this section, again, we know we're faster than him through this point, so really just staying here. But you get a yellow flag, and the guy in P2 just happened to have spun out. Or Actually, I don't really know what happened because really interestingly, from here on out, the guy in P1 gets really, really slow. I actually probably should have watched the replay, but if I had to guess, he had to be carrying some sort of damage because his pace drop off after this was tremendous. Like he was losing over a second a lap. I don't know. Yeah, it was weird, but we're going to start catching him really quickly here. Again, through the section, we feel the car felt good through here, and I know I was faster than this guy. He has a pretty good run out here, but I'm not really pressed right now to overtake him or make a move on him. Really, the slip string and it. catching up the P1 is... I think that was both of our goal at this point. Sometimes you just have to work together. But going into the final corner, you can see how much time we already gained on P1. And coming into, again, the final corner and, and onto the next straight, you can... Yeah, it was, it was a noticeable difference. Again, I don't really know what happened, but I wasn't complaining either. I really, really wanted this win. And at this point, I knew I was faster than the guy in front of me, and P1 had damage or something. So, we were moving. What sucked right now, too, was kind of the lag. If, every time there's a lag spike or something, you disconnect, you lose your delta time. So I couldn't even yeah, tell sometimes in the lap where exactly I was pace-wise, if I was up, if I was down. All so just trying to find time. But again, P1 here, easy blow-by. I just get into slipstream behind the guy who wasn't P3. P1's going to come back to cover it up. We're going to think about a dive bomb here, and we're going to go for it. Probably not the best idea. Um looking back on it because he's gonna hit us with a switch back and we're gonna lose a ton of momentum and lose touch with the guy in p1 for a bit which looking back i probably just would have stuck behind and took the normal line like everybody else because that would have just given us a better run out of that corner and probably could have been in three wide if not ahead going into the next corner but here we're gonna just be content and sit behind no dive bomb down the inside or something it's really hard to send a move here especially in this car that drop of elevation just Get rid of all your grip and any guess downforce you really have. So, so sending it through there, you're really just asking to, again to go into the grab or spin. So, so not worth it. This guy in front, P1, it looks like he starts to regain a bit of pace. I mean, he was definitely quick. Um, nothing too crazy, but I thought he was definitely going to be, you know, a little bit of hassle. But he makes a big mistake here and goes really, really wide. And we're just going to use all of our momentum to go right around him on the outside and now we can just focus on p1 and finally catching nope, up to him and continuing that battle we had for the first couple of laps of the race and again we knew we were faster than him at this point so let's just catch up to him and get right in the back of him and get past him the guy in front by no means i i get i think i was faster than him but he was by no means slow we kind of had offsetting advantages i was definitely faster in the higher speed corners and he was definitely faster in the lower speed corners that could just probably be a gearing thing, I think. I just really didn't have the good power out of the corners that I needed. Here we're going to have a pretty good run, but so was the guy in P1 behind us, and he's just going to send it. Um, and we're just going to take avoiding action because <laughs> I was Ooh, not man. trying to get collected there. What sucks what is he doing? goes off track and forces us and off track. And at the yield? He Come gets on, on dude. back before the runoff area ends, which means he gets to avoid a time penalty, and we don't. So because he forces off the track, and a dive bomb move that he outbraked himself in and we couldn't get back on the track soon enough we got punished with like uh one second time penalty or whatever which I mean you get the shave off here but we had to back cool. off and that means yes, the gap man. between first and second and us is even bigger now and now the gap behind us is also substantially lower because going from 1.4 seconds is now 0.4 seconds so now is instead of just being us three it's four of us trying to battle for this lead back into the middle sector again i think i can force the car in front to make a mistake because he's made mistakes through here before we have a decent run through there um car slides a bit but nothing too crazy the car in front in p1 has definitely slowed down a bit too i don't know if he made a mistake or anything but the gap is starting to close we know we're probably the fastest driver through here right now but we can also see the car behind is gaining like substantially gaining on us the guy in p2 just it was off here and well that was a lot easier than expected but all right well that's sure now on the team one now nobody in front he's two seconds ahead which isn't the best i would have liked to have a bit Maybe smaller of a gap or at least have guy. another car in between uh, us um well, i mean there was one that wasn't between us, us but he's gone now <laughs> but yeah just someone to give us a bit more power for the slipstream that would have been nice but again i think we're pretty fast through here he was struggling through this final corner and we're gonna make a good chunk of him here we get an off track um yeah off tracks here 
it's a bit wonky it's not super defined exactly where they are um so we were definitely racking them up here which again wasn't really helping our safety rating but at this point i just wanted to win i could sniff it i could see it I could feel it we were just we were going to win this and i was pretty confident in that. we also kind of dropped the car behind that 0 0.4 0 0.6 seconds is now a little over a full second um which was definitely helpful a little less pressure on us now we could just focus on the driver in front come on, come so on. yeah going for the win again but this car, it was it was definitely interesting to drive. I haven't really driven a closed cockpit car or just a normal car in a while. I had been driving a lot of Formula stuff um, up until now. Mainly because my karting league, I found that the Formula V and even to somewhat extent the Formula Ford and Formula 4, those cars, their steering characteristics, at least the way you have to steer with them, is very go-kart-ish. Um, so and that's been helping me a bit. Um, and also reason I've been practicing a lot and haven't been racing too much just because that along with some other things have been like my sole focus right now. Um, and so racing, not that it's taken a bit of a back step. It really hasn't. It's just I haven't had the time to get it done. And it's been a lot more like a subtle Corsa and stuff that hasn't necessarily been eye racing online. Just fine. I mean, I love eye racing. I also love a subtle Corsa. I, I love most Sims. <laughs> I mean, that sounds weird, but I don't really hate any Sim. The only thing I have against iRacing is just I would love to drive more cars. It's just, it's obviously expensive. Each car being $15 and each track being $15 means one whole season of like Formula 4 can cost you like over like 160 bucks or something, <laughs> which is, which is, I mean, ridiculous if you ask most people for Bro, what? a simulator. Um, most people call it a video game, but it's a simulator, whatever. But yeah, it can get pricey. And so between not having the time to really practice for it and stuff like that, Sometimes it's just easy to hop into Gran Turismo or a Settle Corsa and drive whatever you want. And you can drive basically any car you want in those games for free. Um, so yeah, sometimes it it just it's just easy to do one of those. But back to the race. Right, Starting to gain a little bit here. Track, so um, take another off track. Maybe a couple tenths or so, nothing done. too crazy. We got another off track here, so now we need to be really, really careful um, to not to get another one. But of course we get another one right here. And now my main worry is course, I cannot as I get say that, what we do? an off, off track, track here or a uh, loss of control or God forbid any car contact because a to couple of those or here. one car contact and I'm out of the race. So, get there. yeah, not that I'm going to be driving more conservatively man. now, but finishing this race at least a P2 or a P3 or whatever is going to be more beneficial than getting DQ'd and finishing P19. So just keep it on the track here. A little less than the track limit, a little, a little less than the edges, and just, again, try to reel this guy in as much as we can, which we're definitely starting to do through here. Again, this was our sector of the race. Um, this guy just didn't use nearly as much track as he probably could, and that just gave us a huge advantage, just tents, maybe three or four tents through here um, when, we, when he hooked it up, or sorry, when we hooked it up and he didn't. At this point, too, the tires are also starting to get a bit, a bit smoky, a bit hot. Um, I mean, we're seven eight laps into this race at this point and so prime grip isn't really there anymore definitely starting to lift off a bit earlier break a bit earlier than i typically did and again just really can't afford to get any track limits but he makes Stick a huge there, mistake actually. here and does not carry enough speed through here and so going on to the final lap, lap here we're we gonna go. have we're gonna have a good shot at this and this is we don't have any, come down any threat to. from behind and so we're just gonna go for it I knew I was faster in turn one, but I just, again, could not afford to make any contact. So I broke a lot earlier than I probably should have, which is going to give him a great run up the hill, which we could have capitalized on. But that's like the tough situation of this is we are faster than him. We could probably easily overtake Man. him, but it's the final lap and he's going to defend this win like crazy. And we literally cannot afford even a bump of contact because that means we're disqualified. Going up the hill, I knew I was going to lose time to him here, um, but... He just Shit, disappears he again, and so lag on the last oh, lap is not what no. you want to see. And of course, when he reappears, so he tripled the distance he was <laughs> going into the corner, better. which also isn't the best. But what are you going to do? The car behind is At this point, I know really our only shot here is to either nail guy, the final so. sector or nail this middle sector, which we've been faster in all race. Which this right here is going to give us a great shot. That was about as perfect as you could probably get it. Just and it's going to give us a great run on him and allow us to close up the the gap that was there. I knew these next two close. corners were crucial, and so going in, just patience was the key, and we nailed this one. 
the gas was really smooth the car doesn't wash out and so we can get on it and this right here too we knew was going to be crucial he broke late trying to get over to it because he knows he knows what my line was but he just he couldn't Don't do anything about it so gaining on him we needed it's stressful but it's going to come down to this corner which is well where all the drama happens because we're going to try to send it down the inside and force him a bit wide and by god does he go wide and way off the oh. track i have no idea where he is but he comes back across the track um no time oh no we're gonna lose p2 that, you get overtaken by the guy who's behind us oh and man what an end gonna grab and he's gonna lose p1 um which is nuts so the guy that was in front of us didn't even win either we got p3 at the end of the oh, day oh what a race yeah crazy crazy race but what do you guys think about that do you think that he should have got a time penalty for that or was it racing incident just i don't know but let me know below but besides that thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace